Now for the last part of this question, we're given that all three balls drawn are the same colour and we've got to find the probability that they're all red. And this is a typical conditional probability question. What we've got then is we've got to work out the probability that all are red, okay, all are red, given that all three are the same colour. So we'll just write all three the same colour. Just put that underneath there. Now, how does this work? Well, we've got to be aware of the formula that is often quoted, the probability of one event, let's say A, given B, is always equal to the probability that both events occur, that's A and B, A intersection B, all divided by the probability of the given event. In this case, it would be B. So this is a formula that you should be familiar with for conditional probability. And I'm going to use this formula here. A is that all are red and this event is B. All three are the same colour. So I want both events to occur. Well, clearly, if all have got to be red and all three have got to be the same colour, then surely that is just going to have to be the probability that all are red. And then we divide that by the given probability. So we've got to work out the given probability here. So it's divided by the probability that all three are the same colour. All three the same colour. So I hope that's given you some idea how to essentially start this problem off. So the probability that all are red, that is obviously the probability of getting a red, a red and a red. And then we would be dividing this by the probability all three the same colour, which could be getting the three reds, red, red and red. Or it could be the probability of getting yellow, yellow and yellow. And so if we work this out, getting red, red, red would be up through here, half times two fifths times two thirds. So we we'll just put that in as a half times two fifths times two thirds and all of that is divided by the probability again of getting three reds so that's going to be a half multiplied by two fifths multiplied by two thirds and then we add that to the probability of getting three yellows which is going to be a half times two fifths times five ninths so you've got a half times two fifths times five over nine, five ninths. And if you work this out, what you find you get is six elevenths. Six elevenths then for that probability that all three are red given that all three are the same color.